Hey guys, so we did our video about a month ago about top five accessories for mom, top five accessories for dad. In that video, one of my favorite accessories was my little tool kit, which is in my toolbox. So we said we would make a video about that. So here it is, stay tuned. Okay, I think I mentioned a few videos ago that maybe I would do a video on what's in my RV toolbox and I kind of have a couple of different places I keep odds and ends and extras in the uh, RV so you can see I'm in my front pass-through storage here and my first little box I have box of goodies is just this little red container I don't even, I don't even remember where I got this thing it's just an extra one that's been sitting around the house forever and I've got a 50 to 30 adapter here those are very uncommon you rarely need those but i actually needed one one time you got my surge protector here i actually needed that last trip surge guard basic very basic surge protector i have a plug-in air compressor uh that's not going to do me any good if i am on the road but if i'm at a campsite i'll be okay i already had that i did not purchase that i have some hose clamps here just in case if we have any issues with the um, HVAC. I have uh, these little hose washers here. There's a couple more in there that kind of filter out anything before it gets to the main filter. I have a blowout plug here. There's a uh, clamp. I have some odds and ends, some bolts here. I don't even remember where these came from. I'm not sure when I would need those, but you never know. There's one of those filters. I've got a screwdriver I use for to pry with. It's always nice to have a little junk screwdriver you can use as a pry bar. Uh, I have this little 90 degree angle. I really never use this thing, I'll have to say. But, you know, it was only like four bucks. More of these. Uh, these, actually, this is an extra set of my uh, Blue Ox right there, just in case we ever need that. Can't imagine that would be the failure point, but if it is, I've got an extra set. Everyone knows what that is. These, always nice to have an extra pin. Matter of fact, two extra pins. Hard to beat that. Um, you leave these laying around, uh, they, they drop them somewhere. It's just nice to have extras. And also it's nice to have an extra hitch pin. So this is not the best hitch pin in the world, but if I needed it in a pinch, it would work. Uh, this is actually, let me go back here and look, you can see this thing, if I ever needed to reattach, I don't think it's focus, if I ever need to reattach my screen, I'm letting my hot water heater drain out right now. If I need, ever needed to reattach this screen here, I'm good to go. So. Moving back to the front pass-through. That's what this was for to reattach that screen. I've got an extra socket for my jacks. And then I have jack locks here. Now, uh, I think a couple of different guys make this. Scissorjack.com, made in China. You can probably find them made in USA. These actually work well. So since I switched over to the 7,500 pound jacks, I haven't, I don't think I really needed them, but uh, when I had the 2,500 pound jacks, they actually work. So 10 bucks for like four of them, I think. And then an extra Phillips head for the, the drill. So let's go to the other toolbox. All right, guys, so I'm so fancy. This is the latest Snap-on toolbox uh, from Snap-on. I mean, they really went vintage here, trying to make it look, uh, look like you didn't spend a lot of money, but this is really Snap-on. Of course, I'm joking. Um, so this is my main toolbox here, and I'm going to get in there and see what we got here. This is that kit that I talked about for our um, top five accessory, mom versus dad. This is a really handy kit. It's got a little bit of everything um, that you might need. The only thing it doesn't have is pliers, and I took care of that with a cheap set of pliers. But um, yeah, that should get you most of what you need. So I think those are less than 20 bucks, I think, from Home Depot. Lifetime warranty. So this is a, 
leveler. Hadn't really ever messed with that much. That was from that came with our last RV. Instructions for the TV from our last RV. Got some batteries in here. You can see how well it's organized. These are lamps. These are from I think the last RV. So uh, a couple of extra of these. This is a compartment thumb lock. So these can be hard to find if you're not in an RV shop. So I kept an extra one of those. Got a little WD-40. Never go wrong there. Sorry if some of this may not be in the center of the shot. I'm looking down. So here's some fuses here. Get some 15 amp fuses. And six and a half. I don't know how much we use those. Um, a flashlight, 40 amp fuses. Some more batteries. And I got a bunch of pliers. I got some needle nose pliers. I, I, this is this. These all came with a set. You'll notice they're all the same color. Some wire cutters. Another pin. Can't have enough of those. Apparently, I know that I'm forgetful. Uh, this is huge. This is a. Uh, we actually have two car seats in our the back of the truck. So if we ever do have a flat, I don't really don't want to have to take out the car seats. Um, this actually turns into. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. This actually turns into. A lug wrench. You kind of get the idea. So, four-way lug wrench actually works really well, um, and it comes it's nice and it's foldable. So, I really have made good use of that. Um, some more pliers. Another pin. These pins aren't that great. Uh, they're hard to get on, actually. But in a pinch, it would work. Some clamps. Some cable switchovers. Oh, what else we got in here? Oh, these are all lamps from our old camper. These probably are useless now for us. I think everything on the, the grand design is LED, so these are probably useless. Some Teflon tape. We all know how important that is. And these bulbs have fallen out, but uh, I think these bulbs actually, I don't know if we have LED rear lights or not, so I'll have to look. I, can, I think they might be incandescent. Let's see what else we got. More pliers. So yeah, I mean just to, you know, probably need to put a couple of regular screwdrivers in here because what I will say, and you can see, like I said, it's not organized. I am, uh, my, my wish list is a tool bag for Christmas. My RV wish list. We'll have a, we're going to do a video on our RV Christmas wish list and that will be one of them. But you can see this little screwdriver right here uh, it's not going to get into those little nooks and crannies because it gets so fat so quickly and there's your bit right there so I'm probably going to put a, at least one Phillips head and one regular flathead screwdriver in here and uh, leave some comments in the comment section what have you needed you know what what am I not thinking of I know there's some things I'm not thinking of uh, we can all share ideas and um, you can help us out I'm also going to put a couple of the shackles from the upgrade kit um, or the, from the old shackles, you know, we upgraded our shackles not too long ago and uh, I'm going to put a couple of those in here before I bring it back and uh, yeah, so let me know, let me know what else I need, what else would you put in this toolbox, yeah, I know it's incomplete, um, so I'd love to hear from you, I'd love to share some ideas, hopefully you got some couple of ideas from me and uh, yeah, love to hear from you, see you guys. Once again, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Let me know what I'm missing. I hope you got some good ideas today. If you did, hit that subscribe button and make sure to share this with your camping buddies.